All right. Now that we've taken a look at that, let's go head back over and check out a hive that I've been working on particularly. Since we do a whole lot of moving of frames and stuff around here, we oftentimes end up with a lot of frames that we can't use. I see some on the ground right there, the ones that I haven't gotten to yet. Empty frames. And here though, in the shape of this building, we have ourselves a special hive that I've set up. Let's go over some hive anatomy real quick. Each one of these boxes is called a hive body, a hive box, or a 10 frame, because he has generally in them about 10 frames. Sometimes we'll have 8 frames in a feeder, so that we can put some corn syrup in there whenever they don't have enough honey and feed them. In this particular box, or box is, the bottom two are brood chambers. I have an excluder put in, just like uh, over there, that separates the queen of these two bottom boxes. She won't get into these top boxes. We don't want her to lay eggs up here. What we want them to do is to take care of, I've written on here, pollen and frames in trouble. Frames in trouble are frames that I find that they don't have what we want on them, or they're dirty, or they're messed up. And I enlist the help of bees here to clean them up for me. Temper, temper, ladies. They've cleaned this one up. Nice, they've also started to put nectar into it. They'll turn to honey. Now you may be wondering what all this stuff is. This is what we call capped brood. Just like in those colonies that they've been drafted to, once we put the cells in, those larvae will grow. And they'll become pupa. After a set amount of time, those pupa will develop into queens. And just before they emerge, we put them in colonies that we want to have queens in. Look at them. I guess I can show you inside the grafting building now. When I'm in the grafting yard, most of the time I spend inside this lovely little shack right here. Let's go check it out. This here is the grafting building. That's my workstation right there with the blue towel. What we do in here is we take these artificial cell cups, kind of like fake honeycomb, and we put them into these. These are more of the friends that have the numbers on them. Let me show you a finished product so you can get to the... Oh! Look, I was working hard. I have some left over. Inside each one of these little cell cups will go one of those little baby larvae. And these fit into these little curves here that we've cut with a saw blade. Generally in this room it's going to be about 90 degrees Fahrenheit or in the 30s Celsius for all you non-American people who are awesome by the way. Thank you for watching. We have to keep it that temperature because inside the hives it's normally close to that temperature. We want our larvae to stay nice and warm while we're taking them out of their natural habitat and putting them into those artificial plastic cell cups over there. Hmm. Oh, I can't think of anything else to show you at the moment, but let me know and I'll take photos of it for you. See you around.